Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to model surfaces in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, we're going to show you how to create regions graphically within your surface. Now, when a region within a surface in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler is created, this will allow you to specify the properties and loading for the region separately if they differ from the main surface. When regions overlap, the region properties used for the overlapping area is determined by the higher priority value that is indicated in the regions spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and access the region spreadsheet first. Let's go to the spreadsheet tab in the ribbon toolbar, and then we're going to find our region icon. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to isolate the surface that we're particularly working on for which we're going to create a new region. So I'm going to go ahead and unselect everything in my particular model, and I'm going to select the region at the roof level. Now, if I also had grid intersections or nodal coordinates that defined the region area, I can go ahead and just start creating the region. For my particular model, I don't have nodal coordinates that define the boundary as of yet, so I'm going to use a different tool. Now, what you're going to notice is that when I have a region selected, I have some tools available um, in the Surface tab of the Ribbon toolbar. And I have a tool available here that allow me to edit the surface. What this will do is it'll create a construction grid over the surface that you currently have isolated. By default, when using the English unit system, the grid spacings are one foot in each direction. Now you do have the ability to modify this grid spacing to facilitate the modeling process. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. In the ribbon toolbar, we're going to select the spreadsheet tab, and then we're going to click on the grid definition icon. This will bring up the grid spreadsheet over in the data area. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and double click on the default grid within the spreadsheet. This will bring up the edit grid dialog, which allow us to make changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the number of spaces in the X direction and in the Y direction. So let's go ahead and call this the default grid. We're going to enter a plane of the X and Y. We're going to enter a creation method by spacing, and we're going to enter 12 spaces in the X direction and 15 spaces in the Y direction. And then we're going to give it a grid spacing of negative 4 feet in the X and positive 4 feet in the Y. Once we're done, we can go ahead and click on the Change button. And you can see we were able to customize our grid spacing. For me, on this particular model, I said every four feet should work well for what it is that I'm trying to create. Now, at this point, I'm ready to create my region graphically. To do that, I'm going to go to the Modeling tab in the Ribbon toolbar. And I'm going to click the Create Region icon. Now, the process to create a region is very similar to the Create Surface icon. You're basically going to click around the corners of a region. It does need to be assigned to a particular surface, so you do want to stay within that perimeter of the overall surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my first node. And again, I can use this grid background to make that easier for myself. Click around the perimeter. All of my nodes are in the same plane. And I'm going to double click at my first node. Again, to exit out of the modeling phase, we can hit on our escape key. Now, what this region will allow me to do, again, is it allow me to specify different properties or parameters for this particular area of the surface. This can include assigning a different material or thickness to that surface. It can include assigning a different mesh density for that surface, or also adding a particular type of loading for this surface that is not necessarily applicable to the rest of the surface on the overall roof plan. Now at this point, once you are done, we're going to exit out of this mode. We're going to go back to the Surface tab in the Ribbon toolbar. And you're going to notice a lot of these icons are grayed out, and that's because we're still in the Edit Surface mode. 
So we're going to unselect that mode. Do we want to commit these changes? Yes. And here we can see that a region has been created. Now again, you don't have to use the Edit Surface tool to create a region. If I had nodes already at the locations that I was interested in, I could just create it the same way I would with any other surface type of element. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and save my model and proceed with my workflow. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.